Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about the farm murders in South Africa. And the farm murders in South Africa are horrible. They're brutal. Okay, usually it involves a white farmer that's being murdered. And from 1998 to 2016, over 1,100 South African farmers have died at the hands. Usually they're, vi they're farm hands or farm workers. Um, but sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're just random people that want revenge on the white farmers for past aggressions, which should, which should not be going on. This all should not be going on. And these murders are not just killing some, shooting somebody in the head or stabbing somebody through the heart and then taking stuff. No, they're a lot more brutal than that. Um, many people have seen on the news just uh, a few weeks ago, Miss Sue Haworth. She was living in South Africa, but she's a British citizen by citizenship. But she had resident status in South Africa. And she's married um, to this 66-year-old white South African farmer. He survived the attacks miraculously. But they tortured her and him with a blowtorch. They choked him with the paper bag, and they shoved a paper bag down Miss Sue Howard's throat. Then they um, attached her to a vehicle and drug her for about a quarter of a mile, then released her, thought they left her to die. But the police found her body because she was moaning and screaming so loud. And that it was dark. It was it was dark. It was nighttime. So they were they followed the moans and the screams. They got to her. She was sent to the hospital and she was put on life support. But she she died two days later, um, in the hospital. Um, her husband survived the attack and he's moving around. But he'll show. Um, he has been on the news before showing scars and marks from his blowtorch, um, where the attackers tortured him with a blowtorch. And that's common. I mean, there was one incident, and the members, some members of South Africa's parliament have brought this up. And the ANC is divided on this issue. There are some that that have tried, like Jacob Zuma, the president, that have tried to cover the murders up. Um, the EFF has definitely done that, or the EFF just doesn't care. They're more of a radical leftist group than the ANC is. And But then some people in the ANC... Um, didn't want to talk about it at first, but the murders have gotten so brutal that they allowed, they did allow the members of the DA, the Democratic Alliance, to talk about it, which the Democratic Alliance has been pushing to do so because the particularly this latest murder has gained international attention and also the murders have just gotten more and more brutal that there are um, a significant portion of the ANC members that have said, we need to bring this up and this has got to stop. So I have to commend those for that, even though President Jacob Zuma is not one of them. Okay, um, there was one murder that was brought up where the um, the 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 farmhand uh, he had he had killed this farmer um, his farmer boss and they uh, he he cut his the guy's testicles off and he boiled the testicles then ate the testicles. I mean th these are how sadistic a lot of the murders are on the farm hands and not just on the farm hands but a lot of white South Africans. It's not just a shot to the head or a stab in the heart. Rarely it is. Um, they, a lot of times they will, and sometimes they'll get a hold of the farmhand's wife and then they'll, they'll kill the farmhand's wife or they'll rape her for hours and force the, not the farmhand, sorry, they will, the farmer's wife. They will torture the farmer's wife and rape her for hours and then force the, and then force the farmer to watch. And sometimes they'll leave the farmer alive. Um, one farm, uh, and make the, to make the farmer live with the sorrow and the grief that it just happened. And uh, one farmer that was interviewed uh, in the news, he's still alive and he's still farming, but his daughter was killed on his farm. Somebody had killed his daughter in an act of revenge. And it is, it is three times more dangerous to be a, farmer in, a white farmer in South Africa than it is to be a policeman. And South Africa has one of the highest crime rates, if not the highest crime rate in the world. So... You know, the world needs to talk about this. And, and the, the ANC members that did cover this up and the EFF, they need to be ashamed of themselves for covering this up as long as they have and have not gained international attention. Uh, props to the human rights groups who are now speaking out on this, saying this is a catastrophe and this is a crisis. And it is a crisis. And we all as human beings, regardless of what race or color we are, need to speak about it because when apartheid happened, in 1985, the U.S. and the U.K. imposed sanctions on the South Africa's apartheid government because apartheid was going on. Well, and a lot of countries did, and that basically borderline bankrupted South Africa's economy because of that. So South Africa was forced to end apartheid, as they should have. 
So just because it's the other way around and, and it's black South Africans torturing white South Africans doesn't mean we need to be silent about it and we shouldn't be scared to speak out about it because scared of being labeled as racist or bigots. No, most people who are speaking out on this are not racist or bigots. Now, yes, the AWB with 777 and some of your Afrikaner resistance groups, um, that doesn't speak for the majority of the Afrikaners, but they don't need to be doing what they're doing with all this. They don't need to be waving the, the flag during apartheid. That doesn't need to be going on, but they are not the majority of the protesters on this. They're not the majority of the disgruntled people. The majority of the disgruntled people are not bigots. We just want, ju we just want colorblind justice. So, anyways, uh, sorry for the unpleasant video. Um, before I let you guys go, because there was another torture where one of the DA members of Parliament brought up where the before they killed the this one farmer's wife and this one farmer, they drilled holes through her and his feet and her and his hands. They had a power drill and drilled holes in the hands and feet, through the hands and feet. Just sick. You don't do that. And this has got to stop. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.